Hey y'all, it's Britt Latrice and welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to be here today. So today what I have for you all is an Aritzia haul. I picked up a few things during the sale. For those of you who may not be familiar with Aritzia, they don't have sales very often. They only have them like twice a year. I think they have such high quality basics and I always try to load up during the sale because what's interesting about that store is that they tend to make the same pieces over and over again, but they do introduce different seasonal colors. So if you get like one of those pieces, you kind of have like this Aritzia staple um, that you can wear for season over season. And so yeah, I definitely was like, let me get some while they are marked down. So today I am wearing a House of Harlow top that I picked up from TJ Maxx. It had kind of this like champagne-y brown color that I felt like would look really, really great on my skin. It gave me vintage vibes because the sleeves were a little bit longer than normal. So I was like, let me pick that up and just kind of, you know, get a nice, another nice neutral. All right, I was like, should I wear a Ritzy today? But I'm like, no, no, I, I'm like, I want them to see it. Like, I want to like show them, you know, it's a show and tell type of vibe today. All right, so let me grab it and we will, we'll get started. Hey. <laughs> All right, so to preface, a lot of these things were like repeats because I like having more than one basic, you know, like, uh, cause like when it's dirty and I don't have another, I feel, I feel a type of way. So you're gonna see a couple of repeats, but really cute stuff. So let's get started. So this is from the Babaton line and it's just called the One Shoulder. I see, I thought it had a more advanced name than that, but it clearly doesn't. It is a deep taupe and uh, I think it's just so pretty. I actually have this in black that I got earlier this season. When I went to Chicago, I, it was hotter than I anticipated. And so I ended up grabbing one just to kind of get me through my weekend in Chicago. And I was like, if they have another color that I fall in love with, I'm gonna grab it. And I really liked this color. I think the brown was actually sold out, but like I had another Aritzia top that was this color from a few years ago, different style that they actually, I don't, I think they make it, but they like enhanced it, I guess you could say. I don't know, I don't, I don't like the new one better, but I had a top this color, it looks so good on, it, I'm obsessed. And I have a lipstick this color too, so hey. So the next item I doubled up on, it is from the Babaton collection as well. It is called a Rory Sculpt Knit Top. Here she is, so cute in the color Epicurean Brown. Ooh, that brown baby. It just looks, ooh. yes. I love me like a racer back top. This with some like mom jeans just set it off Jada Pinkett, okay? So, so, so cute. Clearly I've been very into browns lately and like these like really rich colors. Here's the other one. I cannot remember what color this is called right now because I took the tag off and I wore it like when I was on vacation last week. Oh my God, love this one so much. I will definitely link this below, but like, all I remember is that whatever color this was, they made it sound like it was gonna be a brown and it's kind of like this like reddish color, but I love this kind of color. Ooh, period, but especially in the fall. Like this with a good lip, mm. can't tell me nothing. You really can't, you know? So yeah. Honestly, the next one is another Babaton top. Clearly, I just love that collection from Aritzi. I think they have such great clothes in that collection. It's a sculpt knit crop top in the color flax beige. So pretty. So it's giving me oatmeal, you know? It's giving, yeah, like it's just giving like a rich, it's giving rich vanilla. It's giving like, what is that called? It's giving French vanilla vibes. I just love this color. I've worn this in photos before, not this specific one, but this style. And it's just really nice. It gives you like that like square neck and it's just, mm, I don't know. It's like such a classic piece and staple. I also got another one in another color. Let me see if I can go find it before this video is over. And then the next one is this top. I honestly did not want to go for like, I didn't want to go for a bright color, but then when I seen it, I was like, oh my God, this like kind of hot bubblegum pink. Oh, 
I have this actually, it's from the Wilfred collection. I had this in white. This is called Cayenne. And I had this in like an ecru, like white color that I loved to wear so much from a few years ago. I bought it and I was just like, I gotta re-up. This one was so good. I just was like, so yes, you have two repeats in this haul, which show you how good their stuff is. Like for me to be buying it years later, mm. And then this back crisscrosses really good. Like it's so cute and you tie it. It's so adorable. I like love this top so much on. So I'm gonna try to pop up a video of me wearing the white one so you guys can kind of like get the vibe because she, she she's a vibe. So y'all let me go find this top because if I cannot find it, it is going to bother me that I can't show you guys the last pieces of this haul. So. so I have a visitor since I like cut it off. This is Olivia. Say hi, Olivia. Say hi, Olivia. Oh, look at you smiling for the camera. Look at you smiling for the camera. Say hi, girl. This is Olivia. She is visiting. She loves the bed. So she likes to hang in here with me while I film. Oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> Okay guys, and we're back. So here's the other sculpt knit top. It is so pretty. Look at this. Oh. Mm. This color is Toasty Chod. I love it. It's just so nice. Mm. It's funny, I like stuck to like true neutrals this haul. Like, but again, I wanted them to be basic. So I got like some really neutral ones that I thought I would wear forever in love. This is the closest to the color that I lost. It's not quite it. It was more of a golden brown, like a light golden brown, but we'll be all right, okay? We'll be all right. And the last one I got is a set because y'all know I love a matching set, y'all. Y'all know I love it, okay? So it's these shorts. These are by Wilfred. These are called the Effortless Shorts in the color Coral. They're like, they're not really coral. They're more of like a, I don't know what to call it. They're more of a pink, like a light pink. But it does have a coral hue if you saw them IRL. And here's the matching top. It's very simple, just like, it's called the freeform top. And it's, oh yes, it's a blush. That's what it's called, coral blush. I'm like, why am I like mixing this color up? And here is the top, hold on. Try to button it up a little so you can kind of get its vibe. But I plan to wear this unbuttoned. So adorable, but like, ugh, it's the quality for me. It just even, even the way the camera picks it up, it just looks so good. So yes, this and it's matching shorts, such a vibe. Such a vibe that I wanted to go for. I think it'll really match my um, Chanel loafers very cute. And so I'm really excited to pull that together as a look. Aritzia is one of my favorite places because it's very much the place where um, when I shop there, I'm definitely thinking about quality over quantity. So that is kind of what like influenced some of my color choices. I wanted to get pieces that were very easy to integrate into the wardrobe. Of course, that look amazing on my skin and that just can easily just be integrated and mixed and matched. So yeah, that's it. All right, y'all, so that is everything that I have for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell for notifications each time that I upload. I'll chat with you later. Bye.